in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to combine multiple elements of a project into one SVG file and then how to upload that into Cricut Design Space. This process will work with both a Mac and a PC. If you're using a PC you'll want to use File Explorer. Um, if you're on a Mac you'll want to use Finder. Since I am using a Mac I'm going to open my Finder window. So now my Finder window opens I'm already in my Dreaming Tree SVG directory and I'm going to use the Hydrangea tray as the example and that is in the Love You Mom SVG bundle. Go to Hydrangea tray and then go into my SVG folder. Let me make this a little bit smaller so that you guys can see it. And basically we can select all of these. There's a couple different ways that you can do that. You can drag your mouse around it and you'll see that these are selected. And then you can select the last two by holding your shift, T, shift key and clicking on that. Or you can also just hold your shift key and click these as well. It's much easier just to draw around those to select those. And then you just need to click and drag them onto your mat. And all 13 of these files will start coming in. You'll see that they're coming in now. It just takes a few seconds. We're almost there. All right, so we are done. So now we can go ahead and close out this window. So now I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna do edit. I'm going to click select all, which selects all the layers. Then I'm gonna go over here to the right. I have my position and size window open and I'm making sure that the drop down says to page. And I'm just gonna center that to the page so that all of the files are in the center of that mat. Now I'm just gonna to go to file export and I'm going to name this just um, I'm just gonna say one file for now I am going to ensure it's SVG and I want to make sure this is design space compatible so now let's go ahead and open up design space so upload upload image browse now I saved that on my desktop it's called one file so let's open that and upload and here we go we can insert the images and you'll see it might take a second but now all of those files have been imported at once the only difference in doing it this way is when you upload it the file is grouped so you will have to click ungroup which will ungroup it and then it will allow you to actually go through and attach things with the score lines I also wanted to show you that this is not just limited to Dreaming Tree files. So I'm back in Shortcuts a lot with my Finder window open, and I'm going to go into this bonus art collection that I have. So I'm going to go into Flourishes, and you'll see there's an awful lot of flourishes in there. Again, I'm just going to highlight them all. There's 35. I'm going to drag them to the mat. You'll see that they start coming in here. Okay, those were imported, so let me go ahead and go back and import that second folder. So again, I'm just highlighting all of these and then dragging and dropping them. There's 45. All right, I did speed that up a little bit just because it did take a little bit longer. Nothing major, but it was 70 files, over 70 files that we imported. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to just make sure that everything is centered move these over a little bit so file export i'm going to name this flourish let's do flourishes as an svg okay design space compatible i'm in design space i'm going to click upload upload image browse i'm going to find that file that we just saved I believe I put it here. It is called Flourishes. Let's click Upload. And let's insert this. And there you go. The only thing now, again, that I have to do is right click and do Ungroup. So these are all ungrouped. And now if I zoom out, you can see that these are all here. So 
So now we have all 70 of these uploaded into Design Space. If for some reason you didn't want this one to cut, just go ahead and click that eyeball layer off. If you didn't want to cut this one, you could go ahead and do the same thing and so on and so on. So I hope this was helpful.